Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know it's been a really long time since I've put a video out on this channel. I know it's really bad. I think the last time I put up a video it was like a fall to winter clothing transition video. Maybe it was summer to fall. I don't remember. It's probably been like a year since I put out a video like on this channel. Sorry. <laughs> But if I'm being honest, so much has changed in the past year since I last put up that video. Um, I didn't have a job at that point, I was still living at home, like everything in my life was completely different and right now I'm full time marketing manager. I have my new apartment which I am sitting in right now, it is still not completely decorated. So I've still been working on getting my room and my apartment completely furnished. So I'm only showing this part of my room because it is like somewhat decorated with pillows and whatnot, but is definitely still not even close to being done. I have no artwork on my walls right now. <laughs> so yes, I'm very much in transition right now, but so much has changed in the past year. But I've still been very active on Instagram. I've been putting up IGTV videos. I've been posting more regularly. Also, I'm sorry if my voice is just very gross right now. I'm still getting over a cold. I've had it the past like maybe four or five days. It's not been very fun. So yeah, I'm still kind of getting over that cold, so excuse my voice. So yeah, that's a very brief synopsis of like my last year, a new place, new job, new everything. But I'm very happy with where I'm living now, very happy with my job, I'm very happy to be doing vlogging on the side, which I still very, very much enjoy. So anyway, that was a very long intro, I apologize for that, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Okay, so for my first video back, I actually wanted to show you guys um, how I edit my Instagram photos and how I create stories, how I edit those as well. Um, I've gotten a couple questions throughout the months um, about how I edit those photos, what apps I use to make my stories, all of that good stuff. And honestly, I use like all free apps. I don't think I paid for any of these. Um, except for one which comes in the Adobe package that I already had from school. So yes, I think I will just kick it right off and start with how I edit specifically an Instagram feed photo. I'm gonna scoot, scoot you guys over a little bit. Okay, scoot it over. So I'll be showing right here what I'm doing on my phone and how I am editing. So, if you go through, this is my feed on Instagram, these are permanent photos if you don't know, and stories are only lasting for 24 hours. But for example, I'll be editing one of these photos, this is from my trip to Disneyland um, the other weekend which was super fun. So I'm going to go into Lightroom, which I have in my photography editing section on my phone. I feel it's a lot easier just to find everything when I have everything in an editing section. So I'm going to go into Lightroom. So I will say Lightroom, you can get a free version of it, but I actually um, have paid for it technically because I have the Adobe Suite package, which I have from school. If you guys don't know, I was a graphic design major, so I very frequently, for my blog and for my job, I use Photoshop, Lightroom, um, InDesign, Illustrator. I use all of those things, so Lightroom has just kind of come with it and I've learned how to use it. Okay, so now that we have the photo up, I actually use um, my own preset, which I created and I actually use it on my Instagram feed for every photo. It's just really light and bright and it focuses more on like the blue tones and making them the exact shade that I want them. So I scroll over and go to presets and you see I have all of these that are saved. These are all my own presets. Um, so I'm then going to click on Riviera because that is the one that I frequently use and as you can see it applies a bunch of different settings um, that completely change the photo. So I'm going to hit the check mark on the bottom right. So presets tend to look a lot different um, depending on the lighting. So to me right now this photo is looking a little bit like too bright like around my legs and all of that. So I'm going to go over to light and I'm going to turn down the exposure a little bit. You bring down the contrast a bit. Like with presets you're going to always have to finesse and change them a little bit. They're not always going to be 100% perfect. I wish it did work like that but it's just not the reality. So, and then the blue is looking like a little bit like dull for me, so I'm going to go into color and in the top right there's mix with a little rainbow circle there. Um, I'm going to click that and then click the dark blue shade. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn out the luminance and you see how it makes it a lot 
lighter and brighter and just I don't know it just looks nicer and then the saturation I think a little bit needs some help so honestly I just like keep playing around with these settings um, I'll show you guys specifically what I do to this photo but I honestly just keep playing around with it until I think it fits my feed or it just looks the best that it could look so I'm gonna keep playing around with this you guys can follow along on the screen and see exactly what settings I use but honestly it's just like a finessing game Alright, so I think I've finished up with the edit. I think it's looking really good. So yeah, that's kind of how I edit my Instagram photos. It's a really quick kind of tutorial of how I do it. Quick side note, this preset actually is available for purchase through my Instagram account. You can click the link in my bio and it will take you directly to Gumroad, which is where I sell my presets. I have a few other ones there as well, but honestly, this one is my absolute favorite. I love how the colors turn out. So feel free to ask me any questions about presets. I know it gets a little bit tricky. You can get them from Etsy. A lot of Instagrammers do sell their own like I'm doing. So another big thing with Instagram right now is the dust filter, which I've, I've loved that for so long. I really enjoy um, using a dust filter on my photos or even on my stories. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So if you go to your photography editing section on your phone, um, there's an app called Afterlight, which I have, which I'm pretty sure is free. It was free when I downloaded it. I don't know what it is right now, but it was free when I downloaded it. So click Afterlight. Okay, so if you click Albums at the bottom, and then click my photo stream all right so then you hit the little um, film button that's to the right of the rainbow circle hit that and then there's the dusty light leak instant film and all of those options go directly to dusty and this will give you a ton of options of different dust filters things to use um, depending on the light of oh, depending on the lighting of your photo so generally, I like to use number 11, I like number 9, they're very subtle, dusty filters, they're nothing crazy. I'm going to use number 10 real quick because it will show this next step kind of obviously. So you can flip horizontally or vertically these dust filters, so take this one for example, if I flip it vertically, it'll flip all of the um, little dust particles, and if I do it horizontally, it'll flip it that way. So I would like something more subtle like number 11, um, which is really cool. I'm going to try flipping it around, see which way I like best. Oh, another thing you can do with this, you can slide the little bottom bar like up and down and that's the opacity um, of the dust. So if you bring it all the way down, it'll pretty much disappear. But if you bring it all the way up, it appears. So then you hit the check button on the bottom right and then you hit done, save. And there you go, save complete. So yes, Afterlight is really great. I've been using it for so long now. I don't even remember actually when I downloaded that, but it's one of my favorite apps ever, specifically for the dust filter. So let's move over now to the stories and what apps I use for that. So I think one of my favorite apps ever right now is Unfold. So Unfold is a great app if you want your stories or even feed photos to look like old film photography as if it's been printed out or um, developed like at a store, a film store. <laughs> you know, you like drive up and you like get your film after it's been developed. So I'm gonna go right into Unfold, I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna go into my blog post promotion section. And you can see I have like a ton of different things I've used, different templates and all of that. So we'll start from scratch. So hit the plus button. And you can see all the different templates they have available for you and they're all in the size of stories, Instagram stories. So if you scroll at the bottom, I usually like to use the FF1 because that's a bunch of different um, photography things. So I'll show you guys the one I like to use a lot of my stories and it's just a simple one um, Polaroid photo. So I'll click on that. So I'll then click on the one that we edited together. So you click that and hit select. And you can see it like transfers right into the Polaroid photo. You can click on it, you can expand the photo, make it small however you want. So I'm obviously going to make sure it fits there. Alright, cool. So you can obviously add another photo in the background, um, which I can show you guys how to do that. So you click that little gray area. Hit the same photo. I kind of like to do this sometimes because it looks cool. Like you can see the castle in the background. I don't know. Sometimes I like to do that. But I think for today, you can add like colors. So hit the little pencil in the bottom corner. And then you hit the little um, teardrop looking thing. So scroll through here and you can see all the different colors they offer you. So I personally really like to use the little light pink one. It usually matches my feet the best. 
Okay guys, I'm sorry if the lighting is drastically different. I have to turn on my ring light because in Southern California in the fall, the sun starts to go down super early and I lose a lot of light even if I take the smallest break. So we're gonna continue with how I edit my stories. So we just looked at Unfold. So now I'm gonna show you guys an app called Hype Type. And this is a really cool app for um, like motion graphics and adding text that moves to any photo. So you can see part of my setup here, hello. So if you swipe up on this app, it'll bring you to your camera roll. So I'm going to just choose the photo that we've been working with. All right, so it'll say double tap to edit. So I'm gonna do that, double tap. And if I'm gonna promote this, I'll say something like my day at Disney. Okay, and then you can also add more. So if I'm doing a blog post about this and I want to promote it, I'll say something like blog post in bio, something like that. Uh, I'm gonna show you an example of how many lines you can add. So I'll hit the um, check mark on the right and I'll go down to the bottom where there's the little T sign. So I'll hit that and I usually like to go with this first one. There's a ton of different um, like texts you can choose from. There's so many different ones. But I, I prefer the first one, I think it's really cute. And then you can actually choose from the color palette at the bottom. So if I hit that first one, um, it turns green, or gray, okay. Um, and if I hit the other one, it goes pink. So I actually really like that color. I think it goes with like the Disney theme. And so I'll put the little down arrow to move it. Um, and then I can actually move the text down. So I think that might be a better spot for it, right? there and then one of my favorite features actually is um, the button on the right that has some of the little sliders so I will hit that and then um, if you choose the yellow bar at the top you can change the speed at which it like changes the animation changes so I like it to be slower just so people have time to read and whatnot um, you can also add music so here's just some examples of music that I've used. Uh, I'm not going to add it for this one just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, so cool, then you can put the little arrow down. And then if you hit the little check mark at the bottom right, you can save it. So I just hit the button on the left, which is um, the save button. Or if you want to post it directly to Instagram, you can do that. So I think that's all I'll do for this one. I will just hit the little Instagram button and that will load and save and it'll take you directly to your Instagram story where you can just post it. This is honestly one of the easiest apps to use and it just makes your story a little bit more unique and just like look a little bit different from everyone else's. So yeah, that's one of my favorite apps. It's really unique. I haven't really seen too many people use it. So I really like to differentiate my stories by using some different apps I haven't seen before and I really, really enjoy that one. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna show you guys is called Storylux and it's actually really similar to Unfold. So I'm not gonna really show you how I edit those because it's very self-explanatory and very similar to how you input photos into Unfold. Um, so I'll just go and open the app and show you guys kind of what it looks like. So basically all you do is hit the little plus sign and it gives you a ton of different options. Some of them you do have to pay for, but there's a ton of free templates. You can totally use this app without paying for the templates. That's just what I do. Um, but there's just a lot of different little designs you can choose from. I really like that. Um, usually if I have multiple photos, I like to use, you know, the four grid Polaroid one. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute way to customize your stories. Okay, so we are on to the very last app that I use to edit my stories, and that is the Mojo app. Um, I actually recently discovered this app, I think it was a few months back, um, when I was searching for different apps actually for work. And this is actually a very easy app to use for, um, like moving photos around, like an animation style instead of just text. But a lot of these, I'll warn you, you do have to pay for, but you can totally get away with just using the ones that are free. I think they're really cute and fun to use. So I usually go over to the minimal section in this app. Um, there's a lot of different options for multiple photos. You can also add text. You can add um, some music, which actually is built into the app. So it's more generic music, I would say. Um, but we'll start off super easy and I'll choose the one that I use very often, which is the very first one here. So all you have to do is tap that and then scroll down to the photo you want to use. Again, I'll stick with the one that we've been editing. Okay, cool. So the photo is input and you can see it kind of has that slide down effect, which I think is really nice and simple. It reveals the photo almost. And there's also really cute text at the bottom. So I will just tap on that. 
and then actually I think you double yeah you double tap it to start typing so we'll just stick with the same text I've been using my day at oop, can't type Disney and then as you can see you can change the size of it so so I'm gonna move it up a little bit perfect and there's a little text at the bottom um, that's that says mojo made with mojo so I delete that and I usually just put my username um, just to add a little element of like information where they can find me all of that okay so I'm gonna move that guy up a little bit too this app does get a little finicky I will say um, so you just have to be careful with it so you can always hit the little button on the right and you can include some colors you can change the background all of that but i usually like to stick with the white and gray i think it looks just really nice and neutral um, and clean so i'm just gonna hit done also another app i'll use once in a while it's actually really popular it's called over um and that is actually a much more customizable app i would relate it more um, to Photoshop or Illustrator where you can start with a blank canvas and you can create honestly whatever you want So you can start off with a photo if you want that to be your backdrop um, But it's very very customizable. There's templates you can use. There's free options all of that good stuff I'll be honest I don't use this one very often because it takes a lot more time to start from scratch as opposed to Using a template although there's also days where I have more time in my hands and I can start from scratch and I can make something that is more customized and more me and I can just go in and choose the colors, the fonts. It's really fun. It's a great app. I would definitely recommend it, but definitely takes a lot more time than the other ones. Alrighty, so I think that is it for this video. I really hope this was helpful to you guys. I tend to not really buy a ton of editing apps, especially because I already have Illustrator and Photoshop and I'm pretty proficient in both of those, so it's hard for me to justify buying editing apps, but they are a lot quicker, a lot easier to use. You can use them on the go. For example, when I'm at Disneyland and I want to edit something really quick in line while I'm waiting for a ride. That's a really great way to use these apps. So again, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down in the comments what you liked about it or if you have used these apps yourselves. So if you'd like to see more of me, I am very active on Instagram. You can follow me at Sage Olivia blog. I would love to see you guys on any platform. I would love to connect. So I'm actually off to dinner and a movie right now. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys really soon.